Sergio Sees the Good, A Story of One Not-So-Bad Day. Sergio came home from school and slammed the door. What's wrong, his mother said his mother. How was your day? Terrible. It was a terrible day, said Sergio. I dropped my lunch tray and my food went everywhere. He threw his backpack onto the floor. It was a completely awful day. Are you sure the whole day was terrible? His mom asked. Why don't we make sure? Huh? Says Sergio. How? Go get the scale from the high shelf. You know, the old one that belonged to your grandfather. What for? Asked Sergio. You'll see. And bring me that jar full of marbles from your room, said Mom mysteriously. Okay, said Sergio, feeling really confused. So, said Mom, let's rewind your day. We'll go back to the beginning and try to remember everything that ha that happened. What are the scale and the marbles for? asked Sergio. The right side of the scale is going to be the good side, and the left side is going to be the bad side. For everything that you remember from today, we'll put a marble on that bad side. And for every good thing you remember, we'll put a marble on the good side. When we're all done, we'll see which one is heavier. That's how we'll decide if it was a good day or a bad day. Okay, says Sergio, but I already know the bad side is going to be way heavier. Let's just wait and see, okay, said Mom. Well, I told you about the one really bad thing that happened when I dropped my lunch. It ruined my whole day. Yes, I think you could put in three marbles for that, said Mom. Sergio put three marbles on the bad side. The skill tipped all the way to the left. Yep, that's the way my day was like totally bad. Now, said Mom, let's get started with the rewind. What's the first thing that happened today? Well, I woke up, said Sergio. In your nice warm bed? Uh, yeah. So put one marble on the good side. Not everyone is lucky enough to put have a bed to wake up in. Okay, said Sergio. Then what? asked Mom. Uh, I had breakfast. Waffles, my second favorite breakfast food. Well, that's good. Marble, please, said Mom, gesturing towards the scale. Said he'll put another marble in the good side. Then I played basketball with Henry before school and made three-pointer. Hmm, 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 said Mom, smiling. I know, marble, please, said he was smiling just a little. But then some older kids came over and took the ba basketball, he said. That was definitely not good. Okay, then put another marble on the bad side, said Mom. Then what happened? We were supposed to have a math test, but it was postponed. That's definitely good, said he dropped another marble on the good side. And next... That's when the whole day was ruined, said Sergio. I was walking over to the lunch table and I dropped my tray. It was a huge mess. Peas went rolling everywhere and the kids laughed at me. Oh dear. It was so embarrassing. You could put an extra marble in for the bad side for getting laughed at, said mom. So then what happened? Asked mom. Did you clean up up by yourself? Well, no. Henry and Yuck Bob and Tai Yuck helped me clean it up. And then Mr. Harwell, the custodian, came over with a big broom. He wasn't mad at all. He's really nice. So where does the next marble go? Good side, I guess, says Sergio. People were pretty nice to me. But you didn't have any lunch, said Mom. That's bad. 
She reached over to put a marble on the bad side, but Sergio stopped her. Actually, Henry gave me an apple. Yab gave me half his sandwich, and Taya gave me her cookie. Sounds like a pretty good lunch, and pretty good friends, said Mom. I know, I know, said Sergio. Another marble on the good side. Then what? In the afternoon, we had music class, and Mr. Holmes lets us make up songs. Yob and I wrote a song about the peas that fell on the floor. It's called Peas on the Earth. You want to hear? Maybe later, said Mom. Marble, please. Oh, and I walked home with Tayaha, and she told me a funny joke. Sergio put another marble in the good side, then said, hey, all this remembering is making me hungry. What's for dinner? Your dad made macaroni and cheese, said mom. My favorite, and I guess I'd better put another marble. Well, look at that, said mom. The good side of the scale is pretty heavy. Do you still think it was a totally bad day? Gee, I guess not. It was actually pretty great. How come I was so focused on the bad things? That's just the way our brain works, said mom. We're wired to keep us safe and make sure we remember dangerous things. Scientists call this the negativity basis. Our brains focus on and remember negative things and let the good things slide right out. Why? I asked Sergio. Well, this bias probably helped our early ancestors who were mostly focused on trying not to be eaten by big animals. It's not as helpful today. But doesn't it still help? I mean, remember when I touched a cactus and it really hurt? I'll never do that again. Thank you, negative negativity bias. Yup, that's what the negativity bias is for. But sometimes it can make us think that life isn't as great as it really is. We forget about all the little things that happen to us and focus on the bad stuff. Yeah, that's definitely what happened to me. The neat thing is that noticing and being thankful for the little things is a great way to overcome the negativity bias and see our lives more clearly. We don't have to pretend that the bad things don't happen, but remember positive things helps us keep the scale a little more balanced. Cool, says Sergio. I'm going to go warm up that mac and cheese, said mom, and she headed out into the kitchen. Sergio looked at Phoebe and said, I think I better put in one more marble. He dropped her marble on the good side and whispered, thanks, mom. Thanks for listening. Make sure to listen to other stories. Bye.